That's right, we didn't finish the... What does a wine taste like poo poo and pee pee? <laughs> Do you think you would be able to tell? Like if someone fought it into a wine glass and... I feel like the wine would cover it up. It would create like a special brew for sure. For real, for real. Okay, hold on. Let me full screen this and get my hearts over my head so you guys can see how much health I have left. I remember now when we left off, we did like a short stream and couldn't finish the fire temple. We were just at the like the boss. Ah yes, a unique ambrosia. Mmm. Oh, and now my roommate's door. Ha <laughs> ha. When you're a kid, you can make mistakes and you can fart in your mom's porcelain wine glasses. If you want. If you want to do that. Guys, what window capture did I use for my hogs? Nah, I can tell you nah. firsthand. Farts will bind molecularly to anything. What? It becomes part of it. It's not just a smell. Well what? Is that true? Or are they... I feel like they're trolling. Farts can bind molecularly? How do you know it firsthand? Music makes it so ominous. Ominous fart ritual. This town has a secret. A secret that everyone's trying to cover up. Oh, it's window capture four. That's right. Um, hold on a second, everybody. What the? F uh, somebody's in trouble. Okay, that's my heart. Holy! F I have no health. What do I do? It's true on the floor. I can confirm. So you bind molecularly to things. So that girl who farted on the cake, like. Would it retain the taste? I feel like it would have some poop particles on it. <gasps> Everyone talks about cake farts, this, cake farts, that. I feel like there's posers. Wait, is this the way to the boss? Everyone who talks about like, oh, cake farts is so, so good, it's such a good video. It's like the... The kind of person who's like, oh, Radiohead, I really love Creep. Creep's my favorite song. Just a fucking poser. Bet you don't even know about meatloaf farts and pasta farts. Oh, and pudding farts, too. Uh, that one's a deep cut. That was before she broke it big. Imagine gatekeeping farts? I do it every day. I'm not letting that shit out. Not for free! How do I... Okay. I have to kill these. Or they're going to kill me. And they're gonna eat my body. Your head on a swivel, you little freak. I think I can... Uh, I almost a jump rope. I think I can... Uh, go all the way up here. I might die. Oh, I made it. Cool. Ah! Ah! I'm okay. I thought girls didn't fart. That's... Is that... Contradictory to what I said? I just said I don't fart. Oh, this is a wrong room. <laughs> oh, waiting comp... 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 Reading comprehension fail? Much? What the f is this room? I don't. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Did you just fucking lie to me? When I left off, everyone was like, You're literally at the boss. You're literally at the last level of the boss. The boss level, you're gonna go to the boss. It looks like I have much more. <laughs> okay, I got a heart. Wait, I'm getting some health back. Wait, I got, I got some health taken off. 
win some, you lose some. Here they come, here they go. He's doing pot, he's rotting his brain with drugs. He should have paid attention to the fucking uh, straight edge gamer versus stoner gamer by that one guy. Soulful eyes. Wait, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing in here? I hit this. Drugs are good, okay. The gods stop peer pressuring people. Wait, I think I might know. I think I might know. I need to use the mirror shield, but how? There needs to be a light coming in this room to reflect here, and then I reflect that light to. The sun, right here. Father, the sun. The Holy Spirit. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Oh my god, they're gonna kill me. Oh my god, they're actually going to find and kill me. Can you kill these with a sword? Uh, don't take that out of context and put that on now a video in the of, of my death. children. Hashtag work. What? Figurine is now in the center of my desk. Hashtag work. Oh my god, thank you! I still can't believe I have a, a freaking figurine. I think what I need to do is bust open one of these walls. I'm gonna break down these walls that are controlling me. Or maybe it's this wall? <gasps> it's this wall! Okay, check this shit out. I'm not gonna believe it. This is gonna be crazy. Okay, now we just wait. <gasps> okay, shit! Alright, so we grab this and rotate it until it goes like. Behind the bars. Ah! Oh god, I killed those in like two hits. Why am I even scared? What am I afraid of? I'm not afraid of you anymore. Yeah, the lizard guys make a really cute sound. I like it. Wait. Okay. So now it's reflecting here. Now, okay. Someone saw happen. the Hold sticker on. on my car of you, and they asked, what is that pink cat? I said, that's a cold tuber, Niners. They said, Nanners, why you watching grandma's sad? They know that I'm 30 years old, don't they? Sad. 30 years old, I can't go to trick-or-treating. The best years of my life are behind me. I'm just... Slowly degrading, slowly turning into dust before your very eyes. One of the things I wish I never did was tell people my age. I should have been like, I'm uh, 1,000 years old the entire time. How do I put my sword away? Ah, I'm like that. I'm practically dead. I'm the king right in front of your eyes. I'll just say I'm 29 over here. No, well, I'll say I'm like 20, 21. Can you do something for me? Wait, you can. Here we go. He's happy now. I made him happy. Now we are here. The booba statue. What have I done? That's the boss room, I think. I revealed it. That's kind of creepy. Top 10 creepy moments in video game history. I watched so much old X-Play episodes last night. I miss when they were just 
like shows like that. Goofy can't be... I miss E3 and how goofy it was. Everyone made fun of it. Before it got taken away due to like the quarantine and shit. Fucking everything up. Even before that, E3 was dying. You know what I mean? Like they... They got like too self-conscious and they're like... Okay, this year we have to... We can't do any like... Any embarrassing cringe shit. Like people are just gonna make fun of it. And that took the soul out of E3. Can I jump down here without dying? Is it 
through this door or is it through this one? The green one? Wait! You're right. Yes. Trauma bonding with Nyaners. <laughs> it's the worst, bro. Like, those formative memories when you don't really like, understand that kind of stuff yet, but you know, you understand it enough to be embarrassed. It's like the worst shit. I didn't even understand where babies came from for a very long time. I can remember. Can you guys remember? Like, do you have a memory that goes back far enough? So. Ah! I'm gonna die. I'm gonna... I'm gonna die. Do you remember dying? I wish I was never born. Do you remember what it was like to not know where babies came from? Because I remember... I remember... Those were better times. I did not want to know that shit. I still don't want to know. I just fucking died! Save your progress? Uh... Wait. Guys, wait. If I die, will I just be returned to the start of the temple? Okay, good. <laughs> wait, I only have three hearts. Where the fuck even am I? <laughs> wait, what if this is closer to... Wait. I'm on a fucking beeline for the boss room. I'm a baby. I'm a little baby and I'm here to say playing Zelda is pretty great. I like playing Zelda every day. Can you bomb those pillars? Um... Yes. Wait, not like that. Like this. Like... Oops. Like, like that. I unseize my katana. Wait a minute. So what was the deal with this button right here? Did we ever figure that out? Oh, cool. I really needed those rupees. Thanks. You need to do this, right? The hammock? down from there, I should have hookshotted to... Oh, that was a mistake that I made. That I'm sure many of you tried to warn me about, but I was not looking at the chat. And for that, I will pay. Oh, it's like a dark soul shortcut. What the fuck is this? They're making me do everything here. Like, 
I really like your energy. Oh, oh you are a millennial? No, I'm not. I'm not. I can't die. I can't die. I'm immortal like a Japanese spider crab. <gasps> no! Will be revived. No weapon force against me shall prosper. Might as well farm hearts? Like in chat? Because I'm having a really rough day today. I didn't get to have my special sandwich treat that I usually get. Because I ran out of time. And I'm feeling kind of hungry and honestly really hard. I'm feeling a wee bit peckish right now. I hope you guys understand. I'm sorry to kind of vent like this. I know, I know people watch the stream because they want like a comforting place where they can forget about their problems. And if I start talking about my problems, then it's... I don't know. I don't know. I'm just rambling at this point. I'm sorry. Thank you guys for, for supporting me. There's a great fairy here? Where? You can get unlimited fairies? Guys, what's a prepaid cell phone plan? On Nickelodeon, they always have like championships like. Where you could win one of the prizes you could win was a prepaid cell phone fan plan, and I never knew what the fuck that was. Like a crack phone? Like a grandma phone? You pay before the month, not after? Like what? Did you get the great fairy out here yet? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> what is this dog sound? He sounds kind of sleepy. Where, where is she? Where is she? Is she under that boulder? Where is she? Near the palm trees this way? Okay, let's go. Come out, come out, little fairy. Are these palm trees? These are the... Or these... <laughs> I already got the oasis. Wait, is this the great fairy? This like little clunge in the wall? Fuck away from me. Fuck away. Do not weird You'll have to forgive me. Fairy. I was up all night sniffing moon sugar in preparation for my magic exams. <laughs> it's okay. I understand. The grind never stops. <laughs> Guys, please, please behave yourselves. The great fairy was real. She'd be like one of those Instagram girls that goes to the gym wearing like a fucking micro kini and just like records a video of like. A guy that's just like itching his nose and happens to glance in her direction and she's just like really shocked and appalled. <laughs> can't wear can't wear anything to the gym. I'll give you a magic spell, please take it. Please considerably properly take it. Vagina is out. Yes, I got Nairu's love. <gasps> Wait, it's like a defensive barrier. You can see her Olympus Mons. You can see. 
see everything. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. She looks like she has a lotus boob. Like all over her body instead of just regulated to the boob. When I was little, I really wanted to live here. One of my... Okay, top... Top fantasies when I was little. Little. Number one. I live in the Great Fairy Fountain forever. And the Great Fairy becomes my new mom. Fantasy number two. When I'm sitting in class and... Like, not paying attention to the lecture. And just, like... Fantasizing about like what if a bad guy comes in right now and starts like threatening everyone I would get up and do like insane matrix style like kung fu moves on them and Subdue them instantly and win the respect of everyone in my school Everyone will become a cool badass and a hero Number three Um Number three That I was like Matilda and my really nice teacher would adopt me like a, like a Mrs. Honey situation. Wait. I thought there were more fairies. Oh wait, the fairies are in the oasis. That's right. Maladaptive daydreaming. <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to be? <laughs> okay, honorable mention number four was daydreaming in my room that I was doing a talent show in front of the entire school and everyone was impressed. I'm doing like an entire like God knows from Haruki guitar solo or doing like a, a pop a pop moment. Miss Honey, my goat. Yeah, when I was little, that movie helped me out. Not, I think like the fucked up thing is like more than like wanting to have mind powers like Matilda had. That was like a footnote for me. For me, it was like... God... This movie is such a fucking like... This is a fantasy movie, because like... In real life, there's no way there'd be a really nice teacher that would adopt me into the family and become my new mom. This is funny, is isn't real. Mind powers are more real than this is funny. My mom wasn't a teacher, she was a, a coach. And like a, a manager of a certain department. Are we too real? I'm sorry. What's the song of storms again? Why am I asking you guys? I literally have a, a menu of all the songs in the game. I'm just farming chat. Song of storms? LRA. They don't get paid enough to carry that much. I've had a few teachers that were almost Mrs. Honey level. My Japanese teacher in high school, she could have been a Mrs. Honey. She'd be Mrs. Hachimitsu. She was right. She was right. I'm just 
discovering more and more that... You know what? I think she was right. I'm sorry, Mrs. Robertson. She's probably dead now. Video games do turn kids into psychopaths. Did you ever have anybody tell you that anime wasn't gonna be popular? No, not that specifically, but just like... There were a lot of anime kids at my high school and they were kind of like... They were strange. I was one of them. So it's okay if I say that they're strange. We were all strange and we kind of smelled like cat piss. And people would make fun of them a lot. For being strange. They didn't understand the way of the Hokage. I was in the anime club. I loved anime club until... They switched hands. The people running the anime club graduated. And the new people who run it? Oh my god. They fucked up everything. It should have been me. I should have been in charge. Bro, we used to watch like cool shit like... Gunsmith cats. Like all this like cool like old 80s, 90s anime and like... Record of Lotus War or whatever the fuck it's called. But one year... The person running it graduated and appointed new people and they just... I'm not even kidding. They didn't show anything new. They just watched fucking Final Fantasy VII Advent Children every single Wednesday. It was such a waste of time. Such a fucking blue balls waste of time. I've seen Final Fantasy VII Advent Children more times than I've ever wanted to see in my life. And I like that. I like Final Fantasy VII. I like Cloud. I like Sephiroth. But I've seen more of them than I've ever wanted to see. Hey, where do I go? We should watch Advent Children if we ever do a stream on Wednesday. Wednesday Night Slut Club. <laughs> what would you do for Anime Club? I would show... Okay, some days I'd have like classic days. If we could meet like every day, that'd be ideal because I do like different themed days, like have like a slice of life. Uh, fuck, school doesn't meet on Saturday and Sunday. Slice of life Monday. Uh, comedy Tuesday. Sci fi Wednesday. Or like classic Wednesday. Romance Thursday. Full Metal Alchemist Fridays. Just only Full Metal Alchemist. Full Metal Malchemist. Okay, let me look at the map. <laughs> 3F is the boss floor. So you're telling me... I have to go... Upstairs? So I was on the right path. I'm just insane. Toradora Tuesdays. Holy fuck. Bacchanal... Bacchanal Thursdays. Or Flying Pussyfoot Fridays, because the Flying Pussyfoot was the name of the train in Bacchanal. Bacchanal is the show that gave me my train-tism. That show... made me not only become obsessed with trains, but become obsessed with, like... Mafia stuff, like gang activity in the 1920s. So that was just a shortcut. So, uh... Now what the fuck do I do? I'm sorry for cussing. I'm being testy. We have to go here.
not in a world where we're not allowed to scream. Black Mirror episode. People, you know how everybody orders food with Uber Eats instead of just getting food themselves because we become lazy and we become docile? We become repugnant, fucking festering creatures? Pretty soon everything's gonna be done for us, even screaming. Uber scream. Are you kidding me? All I had to do was that this whole time? How many people told me to do this and I just did not look at the chat and did not see it? But she commands a lot of respect among the Gerudo Kotaki. Maybe we should make her work for the great Ganondorf for a little while longer. <laughs> then we should brainwash her again. <laughs> right now on my phone of the the character the Ger gerudo Ger gerudo chan she's two years old it says her age is canonically two years old what the fuck yeah actually she's not two years old she's two months old she is a fetus no, scratch that. She's literally an embryo. Whoa. It's the Matrix. She's two minutes old. She's li the egg literally just got fertilized. It says right here. She's seconds old. She's not even old yet. She's reverse old. She hasn't even been like... She's not even a, a twinkle in her father's eye. Her parents haven't even met yet. Her parents... You know what? I just looked it up right now. Her parents... They're 10 years old right now. They're not going to meet for another... 
ten years. You sick fuck. And those parents? They were Albert Einstein, both of them. She's her own grandma too. You sick fuck. She went back in time and became her own grandma. God, I hate these old hags. With my flame, I'll burn him to the bone. Try me. With my frost, I will freeze him to his soul. Oh yeah? With my sword, I will strike you down. With my shield, I reflect your spells. Twin Rova! Twin Rova, come over! Uh... Okay, try me, bitch. Bitch! Shoot a fucking spell at me. I dare you. I triple down dare you. What? Ah, she's casting! Yeah! Fuck you! Fuck you! Yeah? I took your spell and I turned it against your sister. These are really some... Ah! Twisted sisters. Because she's casting? Wait, she's immune. Wait. I need her sister to... Okay. Mm, twins. Ah, fuck, 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 Ah, no, I was trying to redirect it. Ah, oh, damn it. It's no use. It's not... <laughs> ah! They're too strong. Their magics are too powerful for me. Part where all the voices of my friends like echo in my head, and I'm like, I can do it. I can. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah. Which one of you is about to get wise? You're getting wise. Oh shit, it's hard to aim. Oh, she got dizzy. <laughs> I love how they spin. You can do it, not get ah! yeah. Oh no 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 no! Wait, I was reflecting it. You're such a dumb bitch. Okay. You're such a d -d 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 dumb asshole. Are you dead yet? Let's get serious now. Oh no. Oh, okay. What's gonna call this double dynamite attack? <gasps> oh no. She's sexy. <laughs> Did you see that wink? I felt uncomfortable. My shield is charged. Wait, uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's charging up. Holy fuck. That's a whole lot of women. Take that. Did you hear her? <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, how do I get my shield back out? How do I how do I unshield my shit? How do I shield my shit? Why does she have to make, like, sexual noises when she casts her spells? Why does she have to make it weird? I'm just trying to do, like, a cool battle and she's making it weird. Wait. No! No, 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 no! Oh, fuck! She fucked me up! It's fairy time. Okay, so... Don't absorb the other element when she's been uh, doing that shit. Okay, nice. 
I'm Dodge and it's fire. Should I do this again? This again? Are you gonna do fire again? Are you gonna get wise? Okay, he's in fire. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck your mother. I lost my charge! Okay, maybe now I'll do fire. Let's do fire this time. Come on, I'm ready. I'm stamped. No, 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 no. No ice stuff. No ice stuff. Ice stuff bad. My shield is like... You know how when the cartoon character stubs their toe? And it like... It's all inflamed and like... All red and like... Mm -hmm. It's like that. Done! Okay, try me. Are you guys? Because you're trying me right now. With the YouTube channel. Try guys. I completely missed her. I missed. How did I miss that? Wait, what element does she use? It's fire. It's fire. It's fire. Oh, this is fire. Right, Kotake? What? what? Hey, Komei, what is that above your head? What? I don't know, but you have one over your head too, Kotake. I think they died. It. But I'm only 400 years old! And I'm just 388 years old! My twins, don't try to lie about your age! You must have gone senile! Mother had a bit of time, they invented VTubers in opening up time. I can't even read their bickering! Your heart my seat! Oh, I'm grateful! Yes! <laughs> Welcome back to haunt you! Ooh, my gayness. Okay, is there a heart to you? There is, indeed. Oh, 
have I been streaming for four hours already? I did stall a good while. What did we even do for the first like three hours? I feel like I've only been playing for like an hour. I rambled for like three hours today. I could ramble three hours more. I have a lot loaded up in the chamber. Who is the hardest boss so far? Mm. Probably that fucking fire temple one. But that's only because I screwed myself over and I lost my tunic to a... a like-like. Jesus. It's Ariana Grande. Kid, let me thank you. Look what the world could have become in the past seven years. A competent swordsman. By the way, I really messed up. I was brainwashed by those old witches and used by Ganondorf to do his evil will. But isn't it funny that a person like me would turn out to be the sage of spirit? And now I'm going to fight them as one of the six sages. <laughs> I'm going to pay them back for what they did to me. Kid, I'm a computer. A hero of time. So of keeping the promise I made back then, I'll give you this medallion. Take it. How'd she get a pants so puffy? Did you know you can fry stuff in salt? Like you can fry potato chips in salt. Stop all the downloading. I got the spirit medallion. Nanaburu is trapped in the spirit realm forever and ever. Only I know you would become such a handsome man. Jeez. I should have kept the promise I made back then. What? Bro? Unironically? He was like... 10 years old. Why are you making that kind of promise? Uh, we have the medallion! Yay! <laughs> a different time in, in Hyrule. Actually, the Asian consent in Hyrule. <laughs> Basically, Middle Age and Old Times, that's not how it works. People, people live the Old Age and Middle in the Middle Ages. The only... Okay. You guys are misunderstanding statistics. Everyone's always like, the back in the medieval ages, nobody really... Uh, the average age that people the, the, the people live to was like 20. Nobody really lived that long. They did, you bozo! It's because there's a high infant mortality rate that like made the average age go down. Because there's a lot of fucking babies dying, and the average like life expectancy would go down too. Of all the dead babies. That explains a lot. The original dead baby joke. But nobody's laughing. Let's go back to the Temple of Time. But there were a lot of older people too. Even in like ancient ancient times. Look at all the fucking philosophers that are depicted in like ancient paintings and shit. Like, ancient cave drawings, ancient like stone tabulature, ancient TikTok clips. They were all like grey and balding. They weren't twenty. They were all 15, they just aged faster. Yeah, they were half cat girls.
Yeah, back in the day, like... The wealthy lived pretty long, too. Even the like, peasants lived pretty long. Horse. It's really an evolutionary flaw that we need our parents to help us not die in the wild until we're like 13 at the youngest. I should go back in time and tell that to my parents and also like sound really super smart and say something like it's an evolutionary flaw that my mom and dad don't let me stay up late playing PlayStation 2. It's an evolutionary flaw that my parents won't let me watch Nickelodeon. understand a horse's heart at all. A little horse in a round. I love the fat horse. Oh god, that's right. It's like stormy and fucked up here now. There's no nice music. Well, shit. Wait, no, it's nighttime. Is there still no music during the daytime here? I just wanted to listen to the cozy cat of the same music. Just one more time. Find the MLP word, please. Well, you see it. Back in ancient times, there were elements of harmony. There was Princess Celestia, who represented the light and the sun. And then there was Princess Luna. Who represented the moon and darkness and the light and harmony until that's a story for another time. Horses literally have 1,000 pounds of the will to die. <laughs> horses are they like the most like the type of animal that's most likely to injure itself because they're just so. They're so flighty and so like they get spooked so easily and just break their legs. If you look at a horse wrong, its legs will just break. They're super fragile. I'm gonna kill you. What the? I'm not even facing the right way. What the fuck? Show yourself. Show yourself, Phantom. Fuck you. would be pretty OP. I think like they were nerfed after the first few patches, the earth patches. Because they were a little too OP. Wait a minute. I have to play the song of shadow. Drink the pole? What will happen if I drink it? What if I drink is it? <sighs> Smoke the pole, man. Smoke the pole in the dark. Bro, watch Dark Side of the Moon with Wizard of Oz playing at the same time. Nocturne of Shadow. Is the effect random when you drink it? What, what are the effects? How many milligrams of Poe is that? It's too much Poe. 
One can't take away... You take away all of your health? Can you just die instantly? You just wake up dead? You can't wake up dead. What the fuck is that from? Bro, I was gonna use this, like, I was so hyped about the neighbor's love, I completely forgot to use it. Wait, it uses all of your magic. That's bullshit. That's bull poopy. Check this shit out. <laughs> Scary movie too? Holy fuck, that's right! Well, here goes nothing, I guess. Watch the scary movies. Guys, I really want to watch Soul Plan. Have any of you guys noticed that there's a lot of big Twitch streamers? I'm not gonna name names because I'm not a snip. And I watch them too, and I think they're cool. And I don't think what they're doing is wrong by any means. I support it. But they've been watching like straight up, just watching fucking Netflix on stream. Some of them will watch just like YouTube movies on stream. One of them had like 16,000 viewers just watching Netflix. They're reacting? But I thought it wasn't allowed. Because remember when everyone got wise and was like, let's react to just Naruto to prove a point. Shadow Temple spooky. It is spooky. <laughs> Guys, I think I need to turn the lights on. Fair use. Rules are different for the big dogs. Well, some of them that watch like the YouTube movies are like my size. Like small streamers. I literally watch Sailor Moon on the stream. I feel like it's like Netflix is gonna hunt them down and serve them some court stuff. Wait, did somebody... Was it like someone from Hololive? Kiara? Mm. Legal Eagle did a video about fair use this week because of this. Yeah, I saw it. Honestly... I don't... <laughs> Speaking of someone who has like YouTube videos as like a... As a quote-unquote YouTuber, if people watch my videos on stream, I don't give a shit. But I can understand why some people would maybe not want their videos to be shown on stream, especially not with like... Uh, not linking back to their channel and stuff. But I don't know, I feel like... A lot of times when I catch a streamer like reacting to stuff, I, I stumble upon channels that I otherwise would not have found. There's so many channels that I watch now that I found through just like people on Twitch watching them and just like linking to them. Time to make a burner cake and watch movies until we get fed. <laughs> Don't tempt me because I will. I found house planning videos that way. I found so much cool stuff. Like so many. I found the, that Nick. Crowley channel from I think like XQC watching it. And you know you know my YouTube algorithm is shit. I just watch like makeup and stuff. I would have I would have never found that through other means. Cause like YouTube is such ass now. It used to be so much better. Like you used to be able to find like cool content a lot easier. Now everything is just so... It's so weird. Like, even when you, like, search for stuff, it doesn't really give you what you want. It's like trying to, like, funnel you into, like, a preset pattern that the quote-unquote algorithm wants you to go... Also known as Big Brother. Yeah, and what about star ratings? I miss those. I miss the fucking dislike button. Bro! I've been shopping around for cameras and stuff because I want to get like a better camera for hand cam stuff. And I like.
like to, before I make a big purchase, I like to watch like 20 million YouTube videos about reviews about what I'm deciding on buying. Just comparing, contrasting, all the like pros and cons, everything. And there'll be some videos that are just like, I wish I could see the dislike meter on it. Or like, uh, tutorial videos. Like, look up like, uh, something's wrong with my computer, I need help, and I type it in on YouTube, and like, what if the video I'm watching is bad? How do I know? There's an extension for that? Oh shit, really? sit through an entire 5 to 10 minute long video and at the end be like okay this video is shit and that time was wasted or I could look at the dislike meter and be like okay this video is probably shit and not watch it and I know it gets abused a lot of people will, like dislike bomb things even if the content itself is fine just cause they're like being wieners and like brigading onto something but I feel like that's like pretty rare comments exist too? they can turn off the comments the shadow will yield only to one with the eye of truth handed down in Kakariko village. Hey! Oh, okay. Is this dungeon hard? I dislike Bomb um, Yanner's video. People used to do that to me back in the day. Because my videos were super cringe. I honestly don't blame them for doing it. Bubs bounce. Make them bounce. Making this bird bubbles bounce. I have to go to the bathroom so bad. Okay, he's facing the soul truth. And everything is better now. Wait, turn off. Turn down for what? Wait. I can't go here yet. I need to go down this corridor. I need those damn hover boots. Go pee before the game's make seal? Are you saying it's gonna get really scary? No. One who gains the eye of truth will be able to see what is hidden in the darkness. What do you do if you run out of magic? 
This really is creepy. Shadow Temple here has gathered Hyrule's bloody history of greed and hatred. Oh my god. They're really... Piling it on. This temple is spooky as well. Oh wait, do not! Do not! Get off of me! That's my purse! I don't know you! Fuck! And bats too? What do they need with bats? Oh, father. Oh, do me crickets. I can't believe I woke up at 10 a.m. today. I'm tired. Whoa! I've done it. What is this? What the heck is this? But his entire character model spins in a in a circle. How did children play this game and not get traumatized forever? That only happens on the 3DS version. I wonder why that is. Is it like did they do something to the camera? The hover boots. I got the hover boots. Icarus! I'm so slippy. I'm slippy Icarus. This is like when you put socks on a dog and he walks funny. Or she. I mean, the dog can be a girl if you want it to be. I mean, dogs, like... They're not humans. They don't have, like, a conception of gender. A dog doesn't wake up. Like, a, a quote-unquote girl dog doesn't wake up and be like... I'm gonna do girl stuff today. I'm feeling so feminine. They just think like, I wanna go chase a squirrel. I wanna chase a squirrel but serve cunt while doing it. Can't believe she just dehumanized dogs like that. I didn't, I didn't mean in like a bad way. I mean, if you want your dog to slay, I think that's fine. Run, Raggy. <laughs> That's fucked up, dude. I'm just saying your dog can be whatever it wants to be. I'm being based. Oh, fuck. I have to go over my notes. Oh, shit. I thought that would go over well. I thought that would 
They would clip it and put it on the LSF and say that I was based. But it turns out... I wasn't? That's not what it's like a streamer that's like... A fucking psychopath trying to like... Make the best reputation as a streamer and farm their audience the most. I can do this all day, buddy. Wait, can you destroy this? But you can't. I'm gonna kill this guy. That's not like not you. Yeah, it's just like a concept I came up with. What's the opposite of base? Cringe. Who would be like the... the L? Ludwig! His name starts with an L! They do like a YouTube video about how he's gonna... He's gonna find the... Twitch streamer killer or whatever. The Twitch streamer serial killer. Oh, shish. They got mummies? I swear to God, no matter how many times I hear it, what the fuck is she saying if not blood? for the president. <laughs> I mean, they kind of were in a way. Like, people were super parasocial for the Kennedys. They were like a whole moment in history. I got a key! They still do, yeah. They like, they kind of encourage it by being like, look at the president playing with this dog. He's, he's a person just like you and me. He's not a lizard person. He's, he's a good guy, I swear. He's not doing war crimes. I for one love all the dead people and that is why I like to sleep in the graveyard in a ghillie suit. Yeah! I like to exhume my grandma sometimes. For fun. Even eats ice cream for dinner. See? It's just like you and me. 
people were like super fucking parasocial for John F. Kennedy that when his wife was like, no, he's not having an open casket funeral, are you guys insane? They just like freak the fuck out like, she's a bitch! She's me! I wanted to see the dead president! <laughs> it's okay, I think I need to be down here. It's actually base that I'm down here. Because I need to heal. I need healing from this fairy. Worrying about other people's ends seems like a philosophical argument at that point. Like worrying about their blood? Where is that spider? I hear the spider. This block needs to be moved. Duh. I think the spider is coming from inside the house. John F. Kennedy is my own sheep. I wanted once John F. Kennedy's inaugural address. Why is that bitch there? Whoa. Is that where I fell? Okay. I really like what they've done with the place with the creepy Gwim Weepa statue. I'm missing something. I'm missing another freaking thing, I think. Or am I not? Did I get everything? Am I doing the thing where I'm like, I need one more, but I actually did it and I just missed the little dude? Driver. Dog? Like, can I avoid it like this? Oh my god. They kind of slow down a bit. Actually, his head just did <laughs> If choose like America's Oshai, does that make Russia and the Sia his aunties? Yes. They're his ops. I learned that word from rap music. Shit! I need to go... Do you yeah, think dungeon bosses around. get someone to come in and decorate their dungeons, or is it all them? I wonder if there's an extreme makeover. Oh dungeon my god, like a renovator? Yeah! And like they have like a walkthrough at the end of it. Ah! 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 I've been in this room. I need to go. Ooh. Ooh. Can I destroy this wall with a bomb? You know what? I'm gonna say it. These fucking laser eye things are the most annoying enemy in the game. Them. Okay, I can't destroy them. And I have a key. I can open the door. Gaming affirmations. Let me put my hover boots back on. I wish hover boots were real. I guess like Healy's kind of. Oh! <laughs> Can we give you hints? Yes, I encourage it wholeheartedly. Because I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. I will start like. Talking about something and forget where I am. A minute in. I don't think you can reflect the laser. I've tried. It's just kind of dumb. Oh, oh god. I just wanted to go three for three on that. I just felt like it would be right. What the fuck is this? Oh my god, whoever designed this place? 
probably has that an eye for aesthetics. Is there another spider? I don't see any shadows. <laughs> oh. Watch for the shadows. And... Oh my god, there's the little hand guys, isn't there? Okay, check this out. Nope! 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 I'm going to kill you! No, you better come back. I'm gonna just kill those things so that they don't grab me when I'm trying to focus. There we go. Ooh, now I'm rich. Red tunic that was sold last season? Wait. Shit, I guess yeah, I guess I should change. Yeah, it is kinda old hat now. I'll go blue. He's feeling kind of blue right now. Oh my... I'm right at the beginning of the temple now, aren't I? Wait, no, I'm not. I'm not. But there are spiders. In the Nintendo 64 version, if you... If that happens to you... Ah! <laughs> going to cast a spell on you. I see you, bitch. Turn around, bitch. Oh, and then the Nintendo 64 version Link fondled my sack. Shit, the 3DS version sucks. There's a spider, I'm going to be so pissed. Fuck around, bitch. Fuck around, bitch. Uh, which way was I facing? I won't die. But that fucking wall master is back. Are they wall masters or floor masters or ceiling masters? <laughs> Fuck you. Okay. I got even more money that time. Holy shit! How many rupees even was that? Stair masters. Oh my god. I always, when I was little, wanted to have one of those like wheelchair things that old ladies had. That would like hook up to the stairs on like a conveyor belt and just like go like. It's cool as fuck. And I wanted a life alert wristband. Help, I've fallen, I can't get up. Um. Where do I jump from here? I can't see. Do you just go down? I do go down. Maybe save? Yeah, let me... Let me do a cheeky save. Because I haven't saved in a bit. Oh my god. <laughs> like Walmart, I really wanted to go on those like motorized scooter things. Ah! I don't know we played around like that here, Jesus. I didn't jump. And for that I must pay. No, not a Segway, the little, like, motorized scooters that they would have at Walmart for people who are, like, hard of walking. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, wait. You're a bad man, bad skull. I don't need your deku nut. 
in a cool way. Fuck, I'm so sick right now. What is it like to be like really confident? Do you just like look at yourself in the mirror and think like, God, I'm so fucking cool right now. to put like song lyrics as your AOL instant messenger uh like away message and people would always choose like the most like emo ones it was like almost a contest i remember there's this girl in school that i like resented to a mild degree not like to an insane degree because she picked like the best fucking song lyrics as her away message and i was like fuck why didn't i think of those and it was like Behind Hazel Eyes by Kelly Clarkson. Oh yeah! Oh my god, I forgot to update you guys on a, like a really important thing. There's something that I know you guys are like waiting on an update for. I'm so sorry, holy shit. Something actually cool. 
Okay, good news. I found the sweater girl. The girl who stole my sweater. I mean, I guess it's technically not stealing because I like... She borrowed it from me because she spilled something on herself on the, the bus ride to Cedar Point. Our trip to Cedar Point when I was in 7th or 8th grade. I found her. She's married now. And she has two kids. And... I don't know if she still has my sweater. Would it be weird to message her and ask her if she still has it? I tried. I felt so creepy. I looked through her photos on Facebook back to like 10 years in the past to try to find if there was another picture of it, but... There weren't any. I think she deleted a lot of her pictures in middle school. You want it back? You know what? I realized something. I realized that... It wasn't about the sweater. It was about the journey to finding it. It was about sending a message. I actually put a bomb in the sweater and it's going to detonate in 10 minutes. I set, the, I set up the bomb back in middle school. Hey, what the fuck do I do here? <laughs> Wait, I think I, I got like, uh, I don't have any keys. Go up top. Wait, I go up top by pushing this guy, right? But wait, will I be okay? It's gonna fall on me. Wait, I have to pull it from the other side of... What the... Huh? That was a genuine huh? Moment. That was period aw. Oh. Not period aw. Oh. What the fuck? Nothing happened. It just fucking like... teleported me. Yeah, I guess I just was wandering into the wrong hitbox at the wrong time. Wait, let me turn my shit off. Hold on. Let me turn my slag off. You can backward as the spikes are falling to flip on top of them? I think you could do that. I definitely can. I lack the motor skills required to do that. Okay. Okay, now I go over here and I grab and pull. I grab and pull it so that I don't get squished. Yeah, I think it like interpreted me as like wandering on the wrong side of this room. High rule history. There's probably some Ganondorf supporters that are feeling me. Very awkward right now. Like that one Luigi motherfucker that was taking over that rant. The Melon Lan Lance. Melon Lance. Has been storming for a week straight since the initial oil can you make it stop? No, send it over here! I want the rainwater. I want to see you be brave. I want to see you be brave. Should I go over to this side or... That was a risky maneuver. And it was worthless. I need to get over there, but how? Can I hookshot it? Onto like those metal chains? I don't think I can. I think I gotta use those hover boots. And darn hover boots. Are those rats? 
Can I walk on top of the... These guys? These colors? I can. Oh, shit. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. I'm so suspicious of the floor. I feel like there's gonna be a fucking invisible pit everywhere I go. Okay, that was money. Because this is the shadow temple. This is the last temple we have to do. Before... The end. I'm not talking about the end of the game. There's a treasure chest over there now. Rub my big belly and it, it tells me things. I make my, my wishes. Okay, I got a small key. And now... Do I just leave this bitch? There's nothing else to do on here, is there? What a crazy room. Do I have to kill him again to get the... I already collected what I needed. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I just keep walking into that. I'm terrible. Oh, shit. Oh, yes. Oh, God. I'm not wearing my boots. My special boots. My Ugg boots. Boots used to smell so bad. It's just like a classroom full of girls wearing Ugg boots, and they're all like, like during the winter time, they get all like soppy and wet from the snow, and then get that foot sweat smell mixed in there. I don't know what's worse, that or like flip flops. The spiky Stitchy things are bad. Stop flops. trying to hug them. I'm sorry. They just look so cute. They're so adorable. <laughs> You're so adorkable. Oh my god, we're watching... Is anyone else watching the new season of Love is Blind? Hey. You guys are all like... You guys watch good TV. Oh hey. uh, yeah, sure. What did I just step on? <gasps> Look at that there! There's spikes everywhere. Now that is just wrong. No, I don't hate myself. Hi, Pink Cat. Hello. Wait, that's a first time chat and you redeemed to highlight my message? It's like a double first time chat. Check this out. <laughs> time to show this first time chatter how cool I am. Enchanted lasagna. Welcome to the stream. I need to get up on that platform. But how? <coughs> I saw something on Twitter that was like, guys only watch. For shitty reality TV if they have a girlfriend who makes them watch it. That's true. Can you confirm? I don't know. I think, like, guys want to watch shows like that and they act like... A lot of them will act like, oh, I don't care, I don't give a shit, it's a bottom of the barrel, shitty TV, I don't care about the Kardashians. And then their girlfriend is like, honey, let's watch the Kardashians. There's such a moment. 
inside, the boy is like, Yes, finally I have an excuse to watch it. I'll just say my girlfriend made me. But they secretly enjoy it, you know? Oh. I'm stupid. Wait! Why didn't I... Wait, I can use my hover boots to get that one. And probably hurt myself, but it's okay. It'll be worth it. Self-harm! Oh wait, I'm okay. Okay. Wait a minute. Can I get to that locked door first? I know you're out there. I see you. What a trippy little temple. This place is so topsy freaking derby. Season. Creepy Chan! I loved that season! Bro, she's actually a really good model. I think she still does modeling stuff. Oh, you can't get there. Me, 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 if you roll. Okay, we'll just go through this door that we unlock. But wait, no. There has to be a way, chat! There has to! I'm just dumb and I'm not doing it right. Cause like, how the fuck else am I? subscribe right now, you get a pretty good deal. I'm gonna kill these bats. Wait. What if it's not the bats I need to kill? But my self-doubts and insecurities. Yenis conquered this temple in the same way that she conquered her self-doubt. I destroyed that skull in the same way that I destroyed the skull of Lily Pichu. Oh, that sucks. You can use the lens and the shot at the same time. I know, I'm just lazy as fuck. Jesus Christ, you the wall! You the wall, thank you so much for 20 freaking gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What the fuck? It is September! Thank you. Motherfucker. Motherfarter. What if it's not the bats that I need to kill but myself? <laughs> oh, a spider! <laughs> <laughs> Man, this game has such good comedic timing. Oh, you're bad. You're bad, bad. Um, let me take a look around. She said to no one in particular. Speaking of Facebook memories. 
<laughs> you know that girl I was friends with in middle school? That like pooped with the door open with her cat on her lap? I forgot to pick up this fucking key. Nine is about two more Lily travel vlogs with her boyfriend also named Michael from losing her mind and asking for a fight. <laughs> what? <laughs> she's, she's cruising for a bruising. Who does she think she is? Going on adventures and living her life. Sasuke and she's Naruto. I never realized they're both Michael. Yes, they really are. His name is Michael. <laughs> why is it so? Why am I being blown in here in this corridor? Said no one ever. Oh uh, yes, please. And give me a Bud Light while you're at it. Stop! Stop! Stop it! You don't know what you've done! Stop it! Stop blowing me! Okay, face me, bitch. Engage me. Your name is Michael? No, no. My name is Michael. My name is Tiffany.
Or his dad. Holy fuck. Just a little Greek mythology joke for you guys. <laughs> Sluts are the backbone to society and I'm not even memeing. No one's gonna buy your OnlyFans crunks different. Did you see that maneuver I just did? It was like... Bro, they should have played the epic maneuver music from YT Mendy during that. You mean Honkules? Oh my god, I want to watch Hercules so bad. That's one of the best movies Still a ever huge made. Fan. I now got a new job testing products to increase my memory. Oh, sick. And you oh. know what? I got a new job testing products to increase my memory. And I also got great news too. I test products oh, yeah? to boost my memory. What was your new job again? It's probably for the best. If everything is in the with the horse and all. God rest his soul. Wait, what's in that pile over there? Look at him scampering around. Oh yeah, I was gonna say it. Love is blind. Bro, this season it's kind of dragging. Like they have like a few seasons, a few episodes where they're just like in these pods talking to each other. Wait, does anyone even know like the what Love is Blind is even about? It's pretty self-explanatory. It's like a it's, it's a social experiment reality TV show. There's there's nothing scientific about it at all. It's just pure garbage television. But I love it. I need it up. I need a key and I don't have one. What the fuck? Yeah, they blind people. They take out people's eyes and then they make them fall in love. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's a brain rot kind of show, but it's very good for you for when you're at the end of a long day and you just eat a really nice meal and you're on the couch just vegetating. And you don't really want to watch anything too thought-provoking. This season is like, they went a little too ham on the segment where they're like, in the pods just talking to each other. Jesus, why is she freaking out? Oh, to this room. So basically, they get all these people together. They separate the girls and the boys into different, like, quadrants of this weird building. I don't even know where this building is. It's like an underground experimentation facility. And then they have them blindly date, like, literally blindly date a potential suitor. They just match up the boys and the girls. They have them, like, sit in a room with, like, foggy glass separating them so they can't see the other person. They can only hear their voice. They're not allowed to, like, describe what they look like or anything like that. So they, like, fall in love based on just, like, just their, their soul and not, like, judge appearance or anything. Which is, like, a cool concept. I already fell asleep. Don't act like... Bro. This is the kind of show where, like, a girl has it on and, like, if her, like, significant other is in the room and is, like, bah humbug about it, like, they always, like, gravitate towards the TV and end up watching it. Like, what is this garbage? And then they're sitting on the TV, like, sitting on the couch watching it, like, intently getting really absorbed and acting like they don't actually like watching it. It's that kind of show. It's so intriguing. There's so much juicy drama, especially this season. So they get in these pods and they like get to know each other. They talk about like their, their deepest fears and shit. It gets kind of boring, but sometimes there's crazy shit. Like there's a girl this season named Lydia who is like completely psychopathic, but I love it. I can't look away. She is a complete psychopath. Like, everything she does, I just ask, like, why? Why is she doing this? So, I know most of you probably don't give a shit about being spoiled on Love is Blind, so I'm just gonna explain. There's three, this is like a love triangle, okay? It's like there's three characters in this. I know they're, they're real people, but. 
Spoilers, I'm spilling the tea, I'm spilling it, I'm spilling it. There's Uche, who is a guy, and then there's Uche, Uche's love interest that he met through the pods, whose name is Aaliyah. And they're, Uche and Aaliyah are falling for each other. Like, they met each other in the pods, and they're like crazy for each other. They're thinking about tying the knot. Oh yeah, part of this experiment is they have to get engaged without seeing each other first. Which is insane. But it makes for very good television. Yeah, write that down. Write that down. Okay, okay. I have to drag this all the way out. And then there's a third character. Her name is Lydia. All you need to know about Lydia is that she is the most psychopathic woman in history. If you think you've met someone more psychopathic than her, you're wrong. She is like a cartoonishly evil, crazy woman who doesn't know that she's crazy. She thinks that she's like God's gift to the world. She's super narcissistic. She thinks that there's nothing wrong with her and that every relationship she's had in the past was like not her problem. Like it was nothing to do with her. It was just like just on the other person, even though it probably obviously was her being a fucking weirdo. And she's like looking for her love. She's looking for her love too, just like everyone else is on Love is Blind. And she wants to find her Prince Charming, someone that can love her for her. So it isn't revealed until later. But I'll I'll mess up the timeline a, a little bit. Just for the sake of brevity and to make it more... Make more sense. But... One of the people... In the... In this experiment is someone she knew in real life before and dated for many months. And she was obsessed with him. And he broke it off with her. Cause he just wasn't really that into her. And they had a very like dramatic end to their relationship. She blocked him on Instagram, all this stuff. And they get matched up with each other in the pods. She hears his voice. He doesn't even recognize her and he's like, who, who are you? And she's like, oh my god, come on, you know me. It's me, Lydia. I know every single thing about you. Because she's like his crazy ex, right? And this isn't revealed until later. This is important to know. So she is like, come on. It's Uche, by the way. I forgot to fucking mention this fucking Uche. Who, who is together with Aaliyah, the other the other girl. But they meet on like the first day and he's like, no, sorry, like I don't wanna start over with you. It would ruin the experiment. And I also just don't want anything to do with you. But he says it like really politely and she's just like, oh, come on, like this is our chance. This might be like a sign from fate that we can start over and like, I don't know, start from ground zero and rebuild our relationship. And he's just like, nah, and blows her off. Fast forward through like weeks of like courtship, he's like getting together with this Aaliyah girl and Aaliyah is forming a friendship with Lydia without knowing that Lydia's ex-boyfriend who she's obsessed with is the guy that she wants to get engaged to in this like reality TV show experiment shit. Please add blabbering emote. I'm losing track of all the characters here. There's three! they start killing each other very soon hopefully hopefully it ends like school days it's a small world after all mayor of yapperton city come on it gets juicy come on bro just let me explain <laughs> if i made it okay I'll, I'll give them anime character names. Would that be more interesting to you if they had if they were like anime characters? Okay, the guy's name is Makoto. Okay, and Makoto and Sekai. Sekai is the other girl. Her name means the world, but it's spelled with a different kanji. That means like flower fragrance or something. But you guys don't care about that. They're, they have a very sugoi relationship with each other. But they haven't met each other yet. They've only heard each other's voices, but they got to know each other really well. And then back in like the girls' dormitory, because they're all in college, uh, Sekai meets a girl named Koto Noha. 
And she doesn't know it, but Kotonoha also loves Makoto and is a crazy bitch. So Sekai and Kotonoha become best friends and they become like each other's confidant. Like sometimes Kotonoha, I mean like Sekai, Sekai gets into like a little couple's argument with Makoto. Like just like, I don't know, there's like some shit they were arguing about and she comes back crying and Kotonoha wraps her up in a blanket and is like saying, Oh no, it's okay. You're just like me. I see myself in you. You're really just like me. And you didn't do anything wrong. Whatever happened in there, it's all on him. It's all his fault. I, I don't know him or anything, but if I did know him, he'd probably do this and this. And she's just like comforting Sekai and being like, No, it's okay, girl. Like, we're besties. They become best of friends. They trust each other and form this like... This, the girl companionship over the weeks. Over their shared woes of like this weird relationship experiment. And then things get heated up with uh, Sekai and Makoto. And they decide they want to propose to each other. But Makoto gets really silent. And is like, wait, there's something I haven't told you yet. And Sekai is like, Nani? Nan desu ka? And Makoto says, Jitsu wa... Ore wa... Kotonoha... Was my ex-girlfriend. And we broke off in a really bad way. And she knows that I'm here. She knows that I'm me. And she knowingly became friends with you. While knowing that and didn't tell you about it. And Sekai is like... Uh... So non ka? And gets really upset. Starts crying. And is like, well, how long does you guys know each other? And he's like, well, like, we dated for like a few months, but... We broke it off because I just wasn't that into her and all this stuff and she gets like really like upset and like insecure and is like well shit like are there still feelings involved I was friends with this girl and she didn't tell me anything and now everything's weird as fuck but I, I'm still really close with this girl and I want our friendship to work out but I also want my relationship with fucking uh, Makoto to work out so she goes back at like a crying mess and goes to talk to Kotonoha and is like Kotonoha uh, sh Shiri Mas. I know. And Kotonoha is like, Ah, so does Ka. And like, her boobs bounce a little bit. Don't fall asleep! Here, I'll put fan servers in it. Okay, they start like, kissing each other for a bit. To like, comfort each other. And there's like, glistening, uh, sound effects. Go on? Okay, now you're all awake. And then they fall over and grab each other's boobs on accident and they're like, yeah! And like a really ear-piercing, shatteringly high-pitched scream. But they're, they're having like a serious talk. And Sekai is like, bro, what's going on? Why didn't you tell me that you knew the guy that I'm like interested in marrying? And you were like buddying up to me and befriending me and saying all this weird shit and now the weird shit is starting to make sense and Sekai is just like yeah I know I, I didn't want to get in between you guys so I didn't tell you anything but yeah we did date and he actually wanted to start from ground zero with me but she like she lied about this by the way he, he didn't say that and then they have like a moment where the, it seems like things are gonna be okay and they can patch things up. She, like, Sekai is like, Yeah, we'll all laugh about this two years from now, huh? We're all gonna get married. And like, I don't have any feelings for him anymore. I mean, I would fall for him if he if he let me. <laughs> it's not like I'm so obsessed with him or anything. But yeah, we're gonna get married and come out of here and maybe I can... I can be your bridesmaid. I can like be your auntie to your kids when you have kids with him. And maybe I could even name the kids too. Maybe even I could make the kids. <laughs> so 
the bitches being bitches? Yeah, pretty much. And then... Uh... Fuck, oh, I got their names mixed up. Oh yeah, Sekai. Sekai's like, uh, yeah, that's weird, but yeah, maybe... Yeah, we can work through this, it's okay. Everything's in the past. But then... Koto Noha gets a Yandiri look in her eyes. While still, she's like hugging and like cuddling with Sekai on the couch, like comfort her, comforting her as she's crying. And she just starts rattling off all this stuff that she knows about Makoto. Like saying like, oh my god, you're gonna love his dog, his Inu, his Inu-chan. When you go to his house, oh my god, I remember when I dated him, I went to his house and his dog loved me so much. He, my, uh, I was like his dog's favorite person, like he wagged his tail so hard whenever I'd walk in the door. <laughs> and he has a blue car, his favorite color is blue, did you know that? Did you know that his favorite color is blue? <laughs> and uh, did you know that he, he really, really, he has like really bad OCD, like he is such a neat freak, oh my god. And this entire time... The other girl's getting this like look in her eyes like, Oh my god, what the fuck? This girl is insane. Why is she telling me this shit? And she even audibly says, Uh, that's okay. I didn't want to know that. She keeps saying, I didn't want to know that. Uh, I don't want to know that. Uh, yeah, I kind of wanted to find that out for myself. Yeah, I don't, I don't need to know this. But as she's saying this, it's like the other girl is in a fucking trance. Like, an obsessive, crazy girl trance and is just, like, listing off all this shit about him and even saying, like, Yeah, last time we, we did it was, like, two months ago in January and it was great. And, yeah, I'd always go over here for dinner at his house. His favorite his food is, like, spinach casseroles. He'd always burn his little mouth on them and I'd always have to be like, <laughs> You eat too fast. <laughs> and we giggle about it together. And his favorite movie is, uh... Marley and me, he always cries at the end, and, 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 and she just won't fucking shut up. This entire time. And then, Sekai cuts open her belly and sees that there's no baby in there, and she was lying the entire time. Or is it the other way around? They cut off each other's heads, and there's a boat, and, uh, Oh yeah, they cut off Makoto's head. They cut the girl's belly open, there's no baby in there, and... A sad song plays. What anime, anime is this? Again, it's uh, Love is Blind Season 5. I don't think we can watch School Days on stream. I, I think it has a lot of TOS stuff in it. That show is one of the worst animes ever made. But it's worth a watch if you like juicy drama. Wait. I'm on the liver sticks. Well, yeah. Now do you guys understand Love is Blind? When I describe it in anime terms, it sounds kind of like something you'd want to watch, huh? Turns out... We're not so different, you and I. No, not really. No, actually less. Can I unmute now? I just skipped the ending. We're different. No, no. It sounded annoying. It sounds like a ripoff. Was way lost, dude. No, I did not. Oh, guys. I am sorry. The worst. All of you guys are so mean, but the worst comment was the person just saying, I am sorry. That hurts. I am the fairy man. In more ways than one. The, pi the kissing part was cool? My all-time reality TV moment will always be the girl microwaving the raw chicken in Flavor of Love. <laughs> yeah. Bro, Flavor of Love was so fucking good. All those like shitty like celebrity reality TV shows on MTV were the best. Oh, and the Tia Tequila one. Ah! Okay. So Flavor of Love was an anime shonen protagonist who had like 
His powers were embedded in a medallion that he wore around his neck. And people coveted this power. But he, he used this power responsibly because he was the chosen one. It was like a time medallion. He had like time powers. Fuck you! I like this boat. It's a nice boat. Yes, he was the descendant of Cronus. His real name is Flava Flavis. Link God, the ship is sinking, abandoned ship. Oh, ah! I wanted to keep going. It was like the Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Why did all bullet in video games during this time not have railing? Probably because it would fuck up like like something that's moving. If you get stuck on the railing, maybe it would mess something up. I don't know. I don't know video games. I'm not even playing this video game right now. I'm just talking over pre-recorded footage. I'm not even holding the controller right. I'm like Anita Sarkeesian if she had Adderall. Like the Terminator. Video game Terminator. I'm going to take away all your video games. I hate video games. I hate them. What can I do? I know. <laughs> I'm gonna take away every last video game from you. Sorry, fuck my soul. No more fun. Ew. <laughs> And replace them with shitty reality TV? That actually sounds amazing. Bro, imagine the real housewives of Hyrule. It's like Zelda and like Midna and Peach. Oh my god, there was this real good anime back in the day called The Simple Life. And in Japanese, it was known as the... Uh... Shinkuru... Jinsei? But Shinkuru was written with the kanji for heart, and then Puru and Katakana. And it was about these two girls. There was a lot of fan servers in it, but honestly, like if you look past the fan servers, it honestly has a lot of heart and like a good story. Yeah, Paris Chan! And uh uh Mini Chan. Nicole Richie Chan. Yeah, there's a lot of Ponsu shots and stuff like that, but if you look past it, honestly, very good anime. Are we almost done with this fucking temple? Yeah, she called her Richan for sure. Oh my god. This is, uh, really fucked up. What do I do? I'm leaving. Anytime you enter into a room where the walls are closing in on you, just know that you can leave at any time. That includes the stream. Does my stream make you feel like the walls are closing in on you? Fuck, how do I... I know what I must do, but I don't know if I have the strength or willpower to do it. I know what I have to do. Okay. I want to make everyone watching my stream feel like they're in the trash compactor in Star Wars. I want to make you guys feel like you're Princess Leia and I'm Jabba the HUD. This is fire? Like, this is a fire idea? Like, oh, it sounds cool? Or are you just saying to use fire? Can I burn? 
the sticks? Like this? Ooh. Me goo goo gaga. Barbichi. Fuck you. You're my enemy. Oh, I used to love watching this anime back in the day. It's called, uh... Uh... Fuck. Wasure Mono. It was about these people on this plane, also known as a Hikoki. And they got... Lost, so to speak. On a big island. And in the end, it turned out... That they were only afterlife the entire time, and it fucking sucked. And I actually hated it. I lied. Oh my yoiga! Yeah, my yoi, my yoi is like when you get lost geographically. Wasuri Mono is a lost item. <laughs> When a friend just like attacking the air. <laughs> Don't get big. Don't get too big for your bridges. I'm going to kill you. When the reckoning comes, will you be ready? Are you ready? Oh, did you guys used to watch, uh... America Teen Idol? It was a really intense anime. There's like squid games. Do I have a key? I have to go into this room right here. Simon Chan scared me. I really like this character arc though. He was kind of like a gruff, like, samurai kind of guy, but over time, he softened up, and it turns out, he has heart. Oh yeah, I have the boost key. So why am I in this room? Tell me why! Why? Shit. The heart. <laughs> like the page from the Bleach manga that just said the heart. Kimpu Watashi no. Uh. Ugoki mono. Kuruma. Watashi no Kuruma Kimpu Kudasai. That was a good anime. What's your opinion on America no Tarento? Oh, the Idaru show? Yeah, I feel like Simon was a really cool character. Uh, I really liked the uh, Kelly Clarkson idol. The arc with her was insane. Like, it was like underdog story. I got them. You dumb bitch. Man, when I'm like a senile old person, I want to be the worst. I'm already bad enough. I want to be one of those, like, problem old people in the old people's folks' home that everyone just, like, talks about in hushed words. The nurses are gonna hate me. They're gonna hate wiping my ass, and I'm gonna love it. I missed all the rupees, I know. I don't need them, because I... I don't know... I have 497, uh, rupees, and I only... I can only carry 500, so it would have been a waste. Trying to get me any chance. Oh shit. No, they're multiplying. Kill it with fire. 
I want to be put down at like 40 years old. Jesus, why? There's so much fun stuff to explore in life. One of the things in my darkest moments that kept me alive was just thinking like... Just having a fear of missing out. Like, even if life sucks right now... Bro, just, not even just in my life, just think about like... All the fucked up stuff that could happen in the future that I'll mess up on. Life FOMO, yeah. You never know. Just day to day, there's always some weird shit happening or funny stuff, cool stuff, sad stuff, anime kind of stuff. Yeah, you still have anime to catch up on. So much stuff, like... You die at 40? Bro, you still got like... 50 years in the tank pretty much if you're like... Healthy, wealthy, and wise. Even if you're not wealthy. When they not you, I'm not the talking to you. In Arkansas, they left this pink truck that was like a landmark in that tiny town. I think it's still there. Oh my god, really? Holy shit, if I lived in that town, I would never stop talking about that. That would be like... Oh my god. A national landmark to me. That would be like one of the wonders of the world. I used to be obsessed with Paris Hilton when I was a kid. I wanted to be just like her. I would watch that show religiously in middle school. It shows... What is that supposed to mean? She was funny! She, she was just like playing a character whenever she did like dumb shit. She talks about it in a lot of interviews. It made for some very good TV. Shit, I keep dropping bombs and I don't even mean, mean to do it. I don't even need to. What is this? Is this a torture device? Yeah, she posed- Bro, she had like a GameCube purse. She converted a GameCube into a purse and posed with it on the red carpet. That's hot girl shit. I remember one night in Paris- We don't talk about that. Paris Hilton is a good Christian girl. With wholesome values. Me and my friend growing up, we were both really into the simple life and we'd larp as Paris and the crew. It was either that or Venus and Butthead. It's like the gender spectrum. You either Venus and Butthead or you're Paris and the crew. They're kind of the same thing, just on different sides of the coin. There should have been a Beavis and Butthead Simple Life crossover. Every day. I hate God for not giving that to us. I'm an atheist because of this. Did anyone else during school get cheeky and sit down during the Pledge of Allegiance when you start going through like a rebellious phase? Oh god. Paris is Beavis? Yeah, I can see it. Nicole is definitely butthead.
I'm just a kid and life is a nightmare. Ooh, the scarecrow song? But I thought that was optional. I think you can just do... You can just hover it. Can't you? You can just hover on your hover rounds. Check this out. Check this out. I turned into Sean Connery and then I died. Check this out. I just have to put on my hover boots. Wait. I throw a bomb at the bomb flowers and it goes kaboom and brings the statue down. Check this out. Oh, wait. I don't think that will go far enough. Wait, you know what will? Fire arrows, are you just bought? Are those like a mandatory item to get? I always thought those were optional. I'll never be bowling. I wish I was a baller. I played basketball in elementary school for like a year. I remember none of it. All I remember is them teaching me how to shoot and saying you have to move your arm like a goose. A goose's neck. Regular arrows would work? Wait, for real? Oh, I'm dumb and I wasted everything. You could super slide across with hover boots on the Nintendo 64. Can you not super slide in the 3DS? I'm discovering more and more that I actually love playing video games. just been Cinderia this whole time. Uh. No, video games are ass. Yeah, that's true. Video games suck. Wait, I'm having a flashback. You know what? I got this game on 3DS when I was a lot younger. And I think I got stuck on this part. I didn't know what to do. Here, let me heal real quick. Aurora is wind? What, what'd that do? I'm scared. I actually feel like I'm gonna throw up. Should I find a bonfire? Wait here, let me save. Save. Oh, he sneezed! Wait, why is he so cold? Is it because it's spooky in here? Someone must have been talking about him behind his back. I love how there's all kinds of like myths around sneezing. From like different countries. Isn't there one where it's like when you sneeze, it's like your soul coming out of your body? What's the deal with this guy? You can sneeze your eyes out if you don't blink. I've tried it before and I don't think you're telling the truth. I just turned my webcam on and I just have two empty eye sockets. Is this just here to scare me? I'm scared. Okay, I'm, I got my hover boots on. Alright. Ah! It's thumping. Wait, I need my boots. Do I need the hover boots? 
Oh my god, I hate this boss. This is actually the hardest fucking boss in the game. Chat, freestyle to this. Bongo, bongo! Bongo, bongo! Ah, bongo, bongo! Oh shit, I think you need the hover boots to... Ooh, whoa! Try to swat me like a fly. Wait, it's dropping arrows. It's giving arrows. I hate it when people say that shit. If they're over the age of like 25. Oh, I hurt your hands. Oh. Ah! 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 You're hurting me! Let me go, you're hurting me! I'm not even facing the right way. Oh. Okay, let me. Should I wear the iron boots? Wait, no. The boots don't matter. Right, chat? They don't matter. Link on a drum, acting kind of dumb. Fighting off a ghost with a really giant thumb. <laughs> if they hit me, I'm gonna get stunned! Ah! Oh, shit. Why is it going bubble? Why is it going bubble? Why is it going bubble? Can I not shoot when it's doing that? See, it's going bubble. I can't do it. It's bumbling. What the fuck do I actually do? Can someone look this up on like a walkthrough wiki? I'm, I'm freaking out. Need boots? I do need the boots. I do need them. I need the boots. I need the lens of truth. Oh shit! I'm warning you! Wait, I can't... Can I not use fire arrows here? Is that why? Or is it just... Oh, I can't use the fire arrows. Is it because I'm using the lens of truth? Oh shit! I tried to dodge through that, but I didn't have enough iframes. Because this is a Nintendo 64 game. Ah! Get out, Blink! Get out of the poison! Blink! I'm gonna die. I'm so stupid. I'm dying. I'm dying, Squirtle. Wait, where is... Where is he? Why is he freaking out? Oh, oh shit, he's... He exposed himself. Ah, bongo bongo. Ah! I'm mashing all the buttons I can! Bro, using the bow sucks ass. Just stop. Stop it. I know I keep walking into every attack. I know. I know. But you, you guys don't understand how hard it is to control things when the camera is all wonky and I don't know where the fucking hands are. Like they're fucking banging on the drum and unsettling me and I'm like, I'm overstimmed. This boss is overstimming. Okay, that hand has been fucked. By the hand of thieves. No, 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 no! I tried to roll out of that. What the fuck? I hate this boss. Okay, expose yourself. Uh Oh, fucking die again! Why is this boss the hardest boss in the game? Just randomly. There's no reason. Is it because it's the second to last boss? No way! Uh, yeah, there's too much to keep track of, bro. There's fucking too much going on. Just drumming and dancing and... farting and pooping. Plugging. 
your last bongo. That's the first time I've beaten this boss in my life. On my own. This <laughs> upstairs neighbors. Are my upstairs neighbors people or are they giant disembodied hands banging on a huge drum? Some video game humor to me. That was clutch. I can't believe I did that. Meow, 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 meow. fight without the hover boots? Seems like they knock you around a lot more with the hover boots off. Like they can like stun you with the, the bonging. Fell on his head. 
ahead and kill them. Oh, this one's my favorite. It's purple. I gave you a co I wanted... I had a cookie, but I eated it. Please look out for the princess. Oh man, I just remembered another really good ass anime back in the day. Holy fuck. It was called Shine Firudo. It was about this guy named Jetty. It was like a slice of life comedy. It's kind of similar to uh, if you've ever seen Lucky Star. Finally, all of us, the six sages, have been awakened. The time for the final showdown with the king of evil has come! Before that, though, you should meet the one who is waiting for you. The one who is waiting for you at the Temple of Time. Who? Elaine was waifu? Yeah, Elaine was best girl. I mean... E e e e e e Yame. Oh, take your boots off me. If you do the bow, you'll beat the game with an empty glass jar. I'm carrying this jar with me for the rest of my life.
only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce, the part representing this force that one most believes in, that one seeks the true force that one must acquire, the two lost parts. Those two parts will be held within others chosen by Destiny will obey the Triforce right on the back of their hands. <laughs> Trapezoid? Shun them! Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door he opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. When he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. Where are the other parts? Strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become a mighty evil king. But his dark ambitions were not satisfied. started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the two other Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Link Cat! It's me? The other who holds the Triforce of Wisdom is... It's the seventh sage who is destined to be the leader of them all. Just like in Mulan. Ooh. Was this originally black and white on the Nintendo 64? I thought I could entrust the Ocarina to you. I thought that would be our best choice. As long as you had the Ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the sacred realm, but... Something you could never expect happened. After you opened the door of time, you the Master Sword sealed you away in the Sacred Realm. Your spirit remained in the Sacred Realm, and then the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hand. He went on to invade the Sacred Realm. Ganondorf had become an evil king, and the Sacred Realm became a world of evil. All this is an unfortunate coincidence. I passed myself off as a Sheikah and hoped that you would return. I waited for seven years. ruled by Ganondorf, the evil king will end. The six sages will open the sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the sacred realm. I will then seal the door to the sacred realm from this world. Thus, Ganondorf, the evil king, will vanish from Hyrule. Link Cat, in order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. I'm doing my part. And here is a weapon that can penetrate the evil king's defenses. Power given to the chosen ones. The sacred light arrow! She just had this this whole time? Oh, it's a piss arrow! Yay! You got the light arrow. The light of justice will smite evil. Smite! 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 Select your bolt and then select it again to open the arrow submenu. Choose the desired type to equip your boo. Equip my boo! That's Zelda's pee pee. Sacred pee pee. That rumbling. It can't be! Ganon! Oh! <gasps> no! Don't put her in a crystal! 
happened to stop the you foolish traitor? I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. No, it was not the kid's power I misjudged, it was the power of the Triforce of Courage! But with the Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, when I obtain this too, and I will become the true ruler of the world. Don't look up her dress, stop. If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. Since them. when? This retconning shit is bullshit. No, I never yeah, did get this far in the game. Why do you ask? <laughs> I mean, there was hints. There was hints along the way. One hour? Hmm, I want to end stream at like 10 o'clock. Because I want to eat dinner and get to bed kind of early. I'm on my Patrick Bateman kind of shit. I'm making a new schedule for myself, you see. I want to wake up at 10 a.m. And on days that I'm not streaming, I want to go to the gym and then lay out and get some sun for like, I don't know, 40 minutes. And then do my errands and then take care of my business and then uh, sit at my desk and watch YouTube videos for two hours. And on days when I am streaming, I want to get up at 10 a.m. a really good breakfast. Take my Adderall. Maybe not take my Adderall yet. Go and get some sun for like 40 minutes. And then take my Adderall. Then take a shower. And then put on my moisturizer. And do exfoliation and then moisturize again. My Adderall. <laughs> Sometimes people in my chat say like the most like either like absurd or like funniest things that I never forget. I don't know who it was, but on one of these Zelda Zelda streams, I've been thinking about this for like two weeks now. This was like two weeks ago. Someone in the chat just said, "When my Adderall wears off, I feel like Bruce Wayne." And I think about that almost every day. Wait, what the fuck am I doing? I don't even remember who it was. And they like, they didn't just like write it normally, they wrote it with like the, the accent, like the... My Adowo, like with the W's. It's relatable. Like you go from Batman to Bruce Wayne. That poster is Albert Einstein. <laughs> Don't steal my jokes! Honestly, goals. Honestly, it's giving Bruce Wayne. I not recommend getting more than 50 minutes of sun a day. I'm not gonna do it every day. I wanna do it every other day. Wait. What the fuck happens here? say like I can't even when they're like laughing Ugh. I can't with you I just can't oh my god that girl from love is blind Lydia I mean uh Kotonoha the anime girl she'll be like talking to someone and they'll like tell her something about themselves like this guy named Milton. She's like, I forgot to mention, she's stringing along this guy named Mir Miruten. Miruten-kun. 
is a young aspiring geologist. He's really into geology. He's 24 years old. And he he's in love with Kotonoha. But unbeknownst to him, Kotonoha is crazy. Kotonoha doesn't actually really like him. What She's does 2n plus 1 say to 2n? I literally cannot even. No, not math humor. Can you hear me? It's Raru, the sage. We six will gather our power to create a bridge to the castle where Ganondorf dwells. The castle's keep, which is known as Ganon Sour, is protected by six evil barriers. Bring down the six barriers and save Princess Zelda! for rejecting her. So Mewtwo Kun will be talking to her and be like, yeah, he like, at one point he was like, yeah, I really like competitive Pokemon. I'm really into competitive Pokemon. <laughs> and she just goes, huh, you're so adorbs. And then immediately changes the subject to start talking about herself more. And there's one part where he's like talking about something really traumatic. Like he's talking about how like, he had this really traumatic childhood where he injured himself really badly in like ninth grade and had to be in like a full body cast or something for the rest of the year. I don't even know. And he was just like crying, tearing up, talking about this, saying like, I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna live very long. Like statistically speaking, like I, I have like a lot of health issues. And the fucking Lydia, I mean Kodonoha girl is just like, can you let me talk for a second? Like she straight up like interrupts him and she's like, can you let me talk? And then just starts like spouting a bunch of bullshit. It's maddening. I don't know how how do people get like that? How do they how do they become so like not self-aware that they don't know like how fucking obnoxious they are? I can't imagine it. If I accidentally interrupt someone, I get the same feeling as when you like accidentally step on like a, your dog's tail. I like profusely apologize. I'm like, no, 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 you go ahead, you go ahead, you go ahead. Even when they're like, no, you go ahead. I'm like, no, you, 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 you. you. This might be a good time to tell you. Tell me what? Tell me what? Can you guys let me talk? I want to tell you an interesting story. That's because of your low speed. I got high tins. Testosterone? You don't think I have high enough testosterone? Who the fuck? What is this pillar? We can do something here, can't we? But what? Apparently I'm a little 
don't know what kind of fucking hormones I got. You're not my doctor. Hmm?
Has she done talking about the fiance stuff? It's not 90 day fiance. You cretin. It's called Love is Blind. Also, it's an anime called I. Uh. Ren I Wa. Um. May. May. Uh. May Oto. Toji Desu. May Ganai. Ren I Wa May Ganai. It's a popular anime. But it's not like you would care. Humans. Back in ancient time, it was a paradise. It was a utopia before everything was ruined. We used to live in harmony. Everyone. Everyone loved each other. Everyone loved watching all kinds of reality TV. They didn't judge one another for it. not like you guys would care. Humans nowadays, they're selfish. They're fractured beings. This room is a metaphor. <laughs> Wait, you can use the Song of Time to the left? Wait, really? Oh, oh, raggy. What if I just get blown from one side to the other? Look at me stomp around in my little angry boots. Oh, fuck. Tell me, tell, tell me straight. Tell me to me straight. Tell it to my heart. The sword. A lot. Everything. You don't have to be that harsh. Jeez. I'm telling my father. We're not collecting all the silver money. I have to make bigger money moves. Long here. You will be torn asunder. Nan is grieving because she's tilted over anime couture? Like anime fashion? I wanna wear my anime jeans to the function. Ooh, take off your anime pants, you're scaring the hoes. It's like jeans with like Naruto on one leg and Sasuke on the other, like hand painted. Holy fuck. Like they have like red eyes and the other has blue eyes. It's like a red only and a blue only, the dynamic. It's an interesting quandary. Bro, don't wear your Ahigo pants to the house party. I wanna scare the hoes. What does this button do? Can I like jump down? Or will I get in trouble? Uh, uh, okay. I don't know what that did. Because oh you know what? I do know what it did. Sick. Nasty. Okay. So, I guess I'm gonna go to BronyCon now. I made up my mind. I'm moving to the city. I'm gonna make something of myself. I'm going to BronyCon! They're, they're gonna care about my fanfiction more than... 
You ever did, Mom and Dad. <laughs> There's no more brony con. There's nothing to live for anymore now, is there? Just thought about this. Ethel's T strong, you're low in T, so you're T1. Okay now, fuck all of you guys. I'm changing into my altered personality, George Takei. Oh my. My arrow? Oh, that's right! The quest item that was given to me. Everyone, combine your powers! We can do it! sarcastic as fuck. I don't mean to. I just like, I get like a streamer voice. Like a fucking news announcer. I'm gonna kill you. to just like tell it how it is. If you look like an ugly bitch, I'm gonna tell you. Number 15. Drunk girl in bathroom at the club. These girls were drunk and complimenting each other. But one of them had a sinister side. Didn't actually like the girl's makeup. She thought it looked like shit. How do I get up there? And she was a ghost. Oh, I thought the fire 
Cheers, loves. Neutralize. Reporting in. The slugs have been neutralized. Roll out, sisters. It's go time. I should have me write the Charlie's Angles reboot. Charlie is triangles. Charlie is secret triangle. Cool up there. I'm free. Wait, what the fuck? Why don't I just do this? It's no use. We have to find another way. No. Use. Where's it going? You did it right to do it better? You sound like my dad. Yeah! I feel like I'm doing my math homework right now. I'm gonna start crying. I'm gonna start Calvin crying. Oh yes, the spirit temple. I remember it well. How do I get rid of the... That's bullshit. Even in the fire temple, you could walk on the lava and it was no problem. Stop it! Okay, stop. Stop being weird. What the fuck? 
You can't do this room yet. You need a better angle. Just roll jump off the ledge. I have to do it from an angle. That's not what the grandma said last night when I was in the closet watching her have sex with someone and throwing up. Oh shit, I can't do this. What if I use the hover boots? Oh. My grandma is a nice lady? You think, are you saying your grandma just because she's a nice lady means she's not worthy of love and like having her needs addressed? Ew, you must have a son. Oh fuck. Oh Jesus. Oh, oh. Not this again? What do you mean again? I've never talked about this before in my life. I don't care what your grandma does. What if I hook it from here? Set it and forget it. Like my new slow cooker. Did I show you guys my slow cooker? I don't remember if I did. How's that water bottle looking? Completely bone dry and empty for the last three hours. You got a new slow cooker? Yeah, I did. I've never really used one before, but this one is pretty nice. I can maybe like link you to the page on Amazon where I got it. It's pretty nice. It works really well, but it is pretty slow. It takes a while. That's a turtle? Yeah, that's the brand. How can I... Oh! Wait a minute. Wait, no. Hold on. The gears are turning. I haven't eaten actual food all day. I'll be real. I thought about getting like food to eat on stream, but for some reason I don't like ordering food on stream. I feel like I'll just like order it wrong and I'll fuck it all up. Now! No! You're next to the rock you can live? You know what? Fuck this. Fuck this stupid fucking room. I hate it.
He just spit me off the side. Like there was nothing. Try and stop me now, bitch. <laughs> The lady doth protest too much. Okay, fuck you. Okay, um, you are stupid. And I refuse to be involved in your foolishness. Why can I kill you? Solve a puzzle in a game, or I get stuck in a game. I'm taken right back, right back to those moments sitting at the dinner table with my dad, trying to help me with my math homework and yelling at me. And you guys are the dad in that situation. How does that make you feel? You're re-traumatizing me. Oh shit. Okay. That's looking cool. Say the accident was my fault. My dad had scissors for hands. Oh, good. 
goodness. Oh goodness me, what do I do? Oh goodness gracious me. Don't slip and slide off the ledge, that would be absurd. Imagine like a fucking insanely intense like revenge story movie about like a guy whose dad died and he's looking for the killer and it turns out his dad was Mr. Hands and at the end he's just like holding a horse at gunpoint. I know it was you all along. It's like a horse he considered a friend. Trusted you. Trusted you, Pokey the Stallion. Oh shit, I can't do that at the same time as that. Wait, um, why are there steps going down there now? Wait, um, am I supposed to go back down? Wait! Did I just do that in a stupid way that I wasn't meant to do? Did I just sequence Blake this puzzle? I did it the hard way, but it was easy! I'm gonna do this the, the hard way too. My 360 no scopes. Princess, I will. Maybe on Thursday, though. Because it is 10 p.m. And I'm getting very tired and very hungry. Just outside the castle, you can use the gauntlets. The gauntlets? Oh, to move that pillar? Get the gauntlets. Do they appear like after you beat all these rooms? I still don't understand the fire room. I'm gonna be real. How the fuck do you hook shot to that that thingy? Thingamajig. Bro, <laughs> you're wearing them? Oh my god, I got them already. See, I'm getting tired. Ah, what the fuck was that? Jack Frost! Where do you recover your tunic? Well, you can kill those monsters and get that, but unfortunately, after he sucked my tunic off my body, he spit me to my death, and that reset it, so I can't get it back now, and I have to go buy another one. Which is just great. He still said he wanted to go in bed at 11, or did he? Really? I don't believe you. That's what the real evil would say. I blame TikToks? Yeah, TikToks have broken into the minds of our youth. He's streaming early tomorrow? Wait, really? Really? Early. Oh shit, there's a timer in this room. My mind cannot contend with this at this moment. I don't even know... I don't know if I can do this. I'm so tired. Let me catch this guy. Your streams are fun, this game is cool, thank you. That was so nice, what the fuck? There's a secret room under the exit of Gemin's castle that might be able to help you. Wait, really? Let's get out of here. 7am? He is not 
He, there's no fucking way he's getting up at 7 a.m. He said he wanted you to be Ganon tonight. What else did he say? Easter Bunny for you? Yes. He said he wants you to DM me my credit card info. Oh shit, okay. Let me get the fuck out of this castle. He legit really likes feet. He said he wants you to raid into him right after this, so I have to stay. I have to stream until 7 a.m. and then raid. Okay. He admitted to dying for Penwell as well. Now that's too far. The the feet joke and everything else, I can laugh along with, but this is Jackie Kennedy defended her her betrothed from the onslaught everything I stand by him he said he wanted you to give me your Prius you can have it I mean no I love my car I don't get self-conscious when people make fun of me for driving a Prius or anything no let's move this pillar Ethel said deep boob. Ethel actually just called me and he said that you guys are really cool. And not to come to the stream. <laughs> Don't come to Twitch tomorrow. You guys are cool. Ethel said the CIA killed Kennedy. I believe that. Ethel said you guys are adorable. And that you're all invited to uh, our potluck this weekend. We're doing a potluck and we want Twitch chat to bring their own dishes. What's a potluck? I don't really know myself. Wait. I'm grabbing it. What the? <gasps> Pounds. Holy shit. You both had to play die with me on stream uninterrupted? Okay. Ethel said that if the teacher doesn't come to class within 10 minutes after the school the class started, then we can all legally leave. I could stay up past midnight because it's not a school night. Ethel said that if you put your face up next to the microwave while it's on, you get superpowers. Ethel said that if you guys say anything untoward or gross about the Great Fairy, he's gonna ban all of you. Don't talk to me. Talk, talk to him. She's not aware. Ethel said that he's going to increase my defensive power that so that all attacks will be reduced by half damage. Ethel said that Goku is stronger but Vegeta is cooler. Don't shoot the messenger!
Good job now, you're super OP. I'm so OP. Bro, I'm like invincible now. I've been streaming for seven hours. I really need to go get dinner. He did not say that Corridor is overrated. Never say that again. I actually hurt my heart. You're a liar! So you can get the red tunic you put in the Konami code. Five puppies, if not more. Probably like on a scale of one to ten puppies, like eleven puppies. It feels like we don't have to wear a seatbelt anymore, and we don't have to replace the batteries and the carbon monoxide alarms. It feels like that the spider people that show up in the corners at night when I wake up in the middle of the night and look into the shadows. Aren't they to harm me? As long as I don't stare at them too long. How is it so late to do? I got the uh, enhanced Nintendo 64 texture pack on my homemade Nintendo 64. What temple next? We just have the Ganon's temple and then the end. But I'm gonna finish it on Thursday. I'm so sorry. If I didn't stall for like three hours, we would have beat it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> 